Good morning guys, we had a great night last night. Good eight hours solid. But um, yeah, we've just woken up. Slept in most of our layers. I'm gonna layer up again, because it's still cold. <laughs> and uh, this is what we're waking up to. Yes, I know I look like shite, so let's go and have a cup of tea to sort that out. I'm really happy with the spot we chose last night. We've camped right next to a freshwater river. It's absolutely stunning. And that's where we get all our, our fresh water and clean our utensils. And uh, we filter it and then boil it up just for extra safety. And then obviously we've got the pine forest right next door, all this dead wood. So it's easy to make a fire. And uh, there's the tarn, and it's got fish in it. Oh, there we go. Yay, it's lit. So while we're cooking brekkie, let's tell you about uh, why we're in a different location than last night. The last shot was us setting up the tent near Blee Tarn. It's actually really high altitude sort of thing. It's super windy and it just constantly rained. Because, yeah. well, you're on top of a mountain, it's bound to rain in the Lake District. We put the camera down, climbed into our tent uh, to warm up, and... Uh, fell asleep. Yeah, we fell asleep for about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after a long hike. When we got up, we decided to uh, try the stove. But obviously up there, we haven't got any option of doing a fire. There's no wood up there at all. No. And so, everywhere, surrounded by swamp somewhere. Yeah, we just could not get the methylated spirit to light. See, it's just not sparking. I don't know why. Hmm. Strike or even the uh, the lighter wouldn't work up there because it was so. I think it was the wind that was the problem. Yeah, wind and so wet. So wet and cold up there. Yeah. Now then, this bugged me so much when I got back, so I did some research to find out why I couldn't get the alcohol stove to light, and also tell you guys so you don't have this problem. It had nothing to do with the wind or rain, even though it made it more challenging. The temperature was too low. Methylated spirit has a high ignition temperature. That means if I want to use it in cold weather, I'd have to keep the alcohol warm with my body heat, storing it in my coat or my sleeping bag, and then it would ignite every time. But obviously I didn't know this. So then that made me look for alternatives, camping gas mainly. To my surprise, butane is similar in its properties and is only ideal for summer temperatures above zero degrees. Whereas propane is the one you can rely on. All year round it will light, or a mix of the two. There's a lot of camp canisters that have a mix of butane and propane and they're designed to light all year round. That's why you'll see me buying this in a later episode. Anyway, back to the vlog. So we made a split decision of thinking, well, we don't want to eat cold curry. Mm. Really wanted my curry warm. And I was really cold as yeah, well. Yeah, you were really cold, yeah. like core temperature was really cold. We could yeah. put more layers on. So we made the split decision of uh, hiking all the way back to Harrop Tarn. This is the tarn that feeds that waterfall that I got water from yesterday. We've seen this and we thought, oh, this is such a, fantastic location we should camp here because you've got everything you've got trees you've got uh, fresh water and you've got fish we thought well we can get back here the spirit burner was a no-go the stove lit a fire last night did a good campfire and cooked everything on that like mm. all the curry and chorizo <laughs> the hike going to Bleetan took us Three hours. Three hours, say, yeah. yeah. It was like a hard hike because it was all up. Mm. But hike coming back took us 50 minutes because <laughs> it's all down and we know the route. The light goes at eight o'clock or just past eight o'clock. Mm. So we were just more thinking about that. We wanted to get set up and we did. We found this beautiful spot, uh, set up the tent, collected all the firewood and lit the fire just as it got dark. So it was a fantastic decision, wasn't mm. it? Other than that, we would have had a, a miserable time at Bleed Town. Oh, <laughs> oh, check this. So today's plan is um, we're going to have brekkie here. We're going to have a, a little go at fishing over there. And if we don't catch anything by two o'clock, uh, we're going to pack up and uh, head down back to the car because it's uh, 
another bit of a hike down there. Oh yeah, and treat ourselves to a nice pub meal. Oh god, yeah. Go to a nice pub meal. Mm. Uh, warm up. And then go and find another spot to camp for tonight. Sorted. That went really well. That was actually one of my first flights with this. I just can't get over how peaceful it is out here, guys. It's so quiet. There's no planes, there's no cars, no people. Just this trickle of the river. And uh, well, when we were walking back down from Blee Tarn yesterday, I noticed that um, it's just so silent, like apart from the wind noise. Well, maybe that's what made me uh, discover it because there's wind, wind, and then it just drops and it's like deaf and silence. Peaceful. And then you can hear all the birds, loads of birds about. Walking around camp, we found some animal tracks. It's actually deer tracks, I think. We call it because we get to see a deer. Just so cool. Seen tons of sheep though. Beautiful, beautiful to be out. It's been a long time coming. Trust me, I wanted to do this so many times, but I had to recover from my burn. I think that is Helvellyn over yonder. Come on sun, break through those clouds, warm us up, make me brown. <laughs> yeah, now I'm in the UK. So just making some makeshift fishing rods. I'm just gonna wheel it in like that and then wheel it out the other way. I don't really know how much line to use, so I'm just <laughs> taking a lot. And I'm gonna put some hooks on the end and we've found some rocks for sinkers. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums. Ready to race to you. These days are on. We was, we was thinking of crossing this little river. It looks little, but it's actually probably as deep as me, probably about six to eight foot deep. <laughs> very, very deceptive. And this is an overhang. We could probably jump it, but I don't trust it to be honest. Right, ready? So we've trekked around in uh, marshland, nearly sunk a couple of times, and we're here, we've made it! A little fishing rock spot. There you go. We would actually love to know if any of you watching are actually fishermen, and uh, you know a lot more than us, we only know 1%. Please comment down below what we're doing wrong. Like some tips and tricks like what you've tried. A lot of variables isn't there? But anyway, we're having great fun. While we cast the lines and just doing all this stuff, had a little hike over the, the marshland and uh, just enjoying the, the sun when it pops out. Are you alright? Yeah, it's bleeding. Oh no, she's bleeding. If all else fails, we've got the pub to go to. Lovely and warm. Oh, yes. Please. <laughs> Fancy a swim? No, I can keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys do. Nutters, I say, nutters. So let's have a cup of tea, pack up the tent, and get to the pub. Yes. I hope the car's still there. We're following the waterfall back down. And it doesn't take you as long going down as up, does it? Can you see through the woods? Someone's camping there. Where we had noodles yesterday morning. Hey! Yeah, your car's still there. Tomorrow we're going up Helvellyn. I'm going stride and edge over here. We can either park at Withburn Church 
or the Swirls car park. We might try here because it's a bit of an easier dis ascent than this one. Because have you seen? Seen how tall that is? Oh my god! So instead of going straight up there, we can gradually get up there. But tell you what, I'm not carrying all that stuff tomorrow if we're going up there. We can uh, go up, do that and probably go back to the car and then drive round and probably find a camp spot near Priest Hole which uh, we're on about doing beforehand. So let's find a pub. So we've just pulled up to the first pub on the road and it's called the, uh, the King's Head is it? Yeah, King's yeah, Head. The King's Head. Let's go and see if it does good food. Yeah, I whack my head. <laughs> yeah. oh, beautiful collie dog. So now we're lovely and warm, we're going to find somewhere to camp. So tomorrow we're going for uh, Helvellyn. Yeah, we've got to climb Helvellyn first. Yeah. And then we get onto Striding Edge, yeah. uh, which uh, should be good. It's right next to Red Tarn, and uh, it's one of the most famous treks that we can see today. This is the nearest pub to the uh, route, and it's absolutely packed oh, with it's hikers. Packed. Yeah, with and doggies as well. Oh yeah, tons of dogs. Yeah, people from all walks of life here as well, mm. um, like international and holiday. Yeah, it's good to see. Mm -hmm. We can see who's like geared up for it in their professional gear. Yeah. And then other people just in jeans and converse, it's a bit, yeah, you're not prepared mate. <laughs> so we hope you like these episodes, um, coming along with us in the Lake District. This is a first time for me, not a first time for you. No, fourth which is time. Super weird, because it's my country. So we'll speak to you tomorrow morning, yep. in the next episode of Expedition Jack and Lily. Yeah, it says it's going to be raining uh, while we're still here, 50 mm. to 60% chance of rain, so We'll see. Oh. It seems to be showers, but then mm. as soon as you get to the top of the mountain, it's always raining. Yeah. Or it's most mountains. more continuously raining yeah. showers. Anyway, so. thanks for watching, guys. Um, give this a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Uh, comment down below uh, what parts you like, what parts you don't like, and if you have any hints or tips for us, because mm -hmm. um, we don't know everything. We're just sharing well, our lives. Especially well, fish. Well, fishing. Fish. Special fishing. Oh yeah, we want we to learn no about, idea fishing. about fishing. Yeah, any I, of you? Yeah, I had a, such, such a high hope today because I saw a fish <laughs> the other day, I and I haven't got a fish today, so. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, subscribe if you like this channel, and press that little bell thing that's new on YouTube if you want to get notifications about when I upload the next ones. Uh, so thanks for watching, and tune in next time to join the expedition. Bye.